Hello, lads. Um, today we're going to have a look at two orthographic projections once again. They're ordinary level 2009 and 2010. Okay, so the one that we're focusing on at the moment is 2009. That's the one I'm going to run through in this video. Okay, so just when we're doing this, lads, I want you to make sure that you're working on keeping your line weights um, nice and light at the beginning, darken it in once you have your drawing done. Your construction lines, keep them really light. And in this, we're going to have a small little bit of hidden detail when we're looking from the direction of the arrow A. There's going to be a small bit of hidden detail here with a depth of five millimeters. Okay, so um, I'll just get the camera on here and I'll get the, get the drawing started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, lads, is we're just going to create a few construction lines that gives a corner to start from. Okay, um, when I have that corner set up, Keep an eye on your question. We need to create two circles at the top, radius 20 and radius 25. Okay, so I'm just going to come in 25 and come down 25. I'm going to do two construction lines just to give us the center of where our circles are going to be. And we also need the center line going down the full depth because we need it down the bottom here. So I'm just going to draw it. Um, as a longer line than it needs to be at the moment. So once you've that done, it's radius 20 and radius 25. Set up your compass. That's radius 20. I've stepped on 25 millimeters, so this should be the same all the way around than it is. And that right there is my radius 25, okay? So once that's done, the bottom of your front elevation is um, also a semicircular shape, okay? And the center of that is down 100 millimeters from the center of the top circles. So we're gonna measure down 100 millimeters and it just carry a construction line through center of this here. The two circles are, sorry, two semicircles at the bottom are radius 20 and radius 15, so we can draw both those in. Okay, so that's just a small little bit off center there. Okay, so I'm gonna draw that one once again. Okay, that looks better. So once that's done, um, our front elevation is nearly complete. These questions are fairly simple as they shouldn't be taking too long. We can bring these two lines, sorry, wrong pencil. We can bring these two lines straight up to meet our top circles. Okay, so that's our front elevation in fairly good order. All right, so once we've that done, um, we can draw our side view from the direction of the arrow A. Okay, so we can bring our construction lines straight across the page. So when we're looking from the direction of the arrow A, guys, we're looking in at this side of it here. So we're gonna see the top of it. We're gonna see this giant here where the straight piece meets the circular um, top of the body, and we're also gonna see the bottom, okay? So it's not too complicated. Um, I'm just gonna measure over 10 millimeters here. And I'm just gonna break down a construction line from there. The top part of my body is 110 millimeters long. So I'm gonna come back 110 millimeters long, and I'm gonna bring that line from the top all the way through to the bottom. In the question, it tells you that the back surface of the camera recorder is um, is vertical, okay? So you can kind of see it in the 3D. So it's vertical, so we know it's a vertical line is straight to the back. It's in 110 at the front here. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring across these construction lines really lightly to begin with. Okay, and from the back, 
the upstand here is in 90 millimeters from the back. Okay, so I'm just going to measure up in my 90 millimeters, and I'm going to draw my vertical line straight up until it reaches this point here. Okay. So again, guys, this question, um, it's not too difficult, okay? It's, it's fairly, just keep your jaw neat, concentrate on your construction lines, and that's that's where you're gonna pick up marks or possibly lose marks. Um, the very last thing that we wanna do, lads, is when we're looking in from this side here, when you look at your 3D draw, which is on the question, you can see that the inside circle here is stepped back five millimeters, all right? So just from the inside circle, I'm gonna bring construction line straight over, top and bottom okay i'm going to measure in five millimeters on that and i'm going to bring a vertical line up okay because this is hidden detail it's going to be represented using dash lines rather than a full line okay the same here and the same here okay so that's our um that's our front elevation and that's our side view complete. All right, so the question asks us to put in four dimensions. We've gone through this previously. Um, the easiest way to do this, guys, is to bring leader lines. So a leader line is just a small, sharp line, which is stepped away from the drawing so that it's not confused as being part of the drawing. And you just, I wanna put the four measurements in the side here, lads. You just bring a construction line not too heavy, put arrows on it, okay, if they're going through our leader lines, and that's how you put in the measurements. The overall measurement is going to go on the outside of that. Again, two leader lines, I'm going to darken them in, and two arrows, and we'll just put in our overall measurements. Okay, so the overall height of this, lads, is, what is it? It is 145. Um, the height from the body up to the semicircle part in 95, we can put that in. You can put in any measurements, that's, it doesn't matter, it's only put forward in, and this is 15 millimeters here. Okay, so that's our front elevation, that's our four measurements, and that's our in view complete. All right. Um, I was looking to put a plan view in this, okay, but um, it's fairly large, all right, so there's not much room left over down below to be bringing down um, a plan view. All right, so we're just going to leave this question as it is. Um, this is one of the questions that you need to get complete. 2010 ordinary level is the other question. Both are in the file section of your teams. Um, so again, that needs to be submitted by half three. Okay, so thanks very much, lads.